Yeast refers to a group of single-celled microorganisms that can be found in various environments, including soil, water, and the human body. Yeasts are used in many food and beverage production processes, such as brewing, baking, and winemaking. However, some yeasts can also cause infections in humans, particularly in moist and warm areas of the body. Here are some types of yeast and their associated treatments. 1. Conjuda albicans. This is a type of yeast that is commonly found in the mouth, gut, and vagina. When it overgrows, it can cause infections, such as thrush in the mouth or a yeast infection in the vagina. Treatment for these infections usually involves antifungal medications, such as fluconazole, clotrimazole, or myconazole, which can be taken orally or applied topically. 2. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This is a type of yeast that is commonly used in baking and brewing. It is generally considered safe and non-pathogenic. However, in rare cases, it can cause infections in people with weakened immune systems. Treatment usually involves antifungal medications, such as fluconazole or amphotericin B. 3. Cryptococcus neoformans. This is a type of yeast that can cause a serious infection called cryptococcal meningitis, which affects the brain and spinal cord. This infection is more common in people with weakened immune systems, such as those with HIV AIDS or who have had an organ transplant. Treatment involves antifungal medications, such as amphotericin B and fluconazole. 4. Malassezia furfur. This is a type of yeast that is normally found on the skin. When it overgrows, it can cause a condition called pityriasis versicolor, which leads to patches of discolored skin. Treatment usually involves topical antifungal medications, such as ketoconazole or selenium sulfide. 5. Pneumocystis gerbeckii. This is a type of yeast that can cause a serious lung infection called pneumocystis pneumonia, which is most common in people with weakened immune systems. Treatment involves antibiotics, such as trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole or pentamidine. In summary, yeast can be either beneficial or harmful, depending on the type and context. Treatment for yeast infections typically involves antifungal medications, either taken orally or applied topically, depending on the type and severity of the infection.